Hey friends, it's Asha. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am sorry for all the noise. Right now Chase has his laundry going, but I won't keep it too long. Um, actually talking, I'll probably end up doing a voiceover just because it is loud. And then also we have space heater on because our heat is broken so we don't have any heat in the house. So I thought, why not make a video on how to make a soup. A really good soup, it's very easy to make because I posted a TikTok making soup like a week or so ago and everyone was saying for recipe and everything and saying that it looks hard and it's actually so flippin' easy. So I wanted to give you guys this recipe in case you are moved out in college or with your boyfriend or by yourself, whatever it may be. This is super easy, delicious, healthy soup recipe and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So it's basically chicken noodle soup. Um, you don't have to use chicken, you can just do normal noodles if you're vegetarian or that type of thing. Whatever you want, you can change things up. It's pretty much whatever you want in the soup. So I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff I'm using. I'm probably gonna do a voiceover um, and how to prepare everything just because I do not want you guys to have to hear the laundry the whole time. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and grab any veggies that you want and like. And then like I said before, meat is optional so I'm just doing half a chicken because Chase likes chicken in his and I do not. And then for the leftover half of my chicken, I'm going to be using my Fresco V8 vacuum sealer which I absolutely love for saving raw meat and everything like that. I just take one of these vacuum sealer bags, put the chicken inside of it, and then I vacuum seal it which I'll show you right now while I tell you a little bit more about it. After I put my chicken in the bag, which is super easy, I just go ahead and plug it in so it's all ready to go. As you see, it lights up and then you have a couple options, dry, moist, and seal. So you just click whatever your food is, if it's a dry food or a moist food. So since mine is raw chicken, it's obviously moist. So I click that and then once it's done vacuum sealing, then I seal it. So as you can see, I just inserted the open end of the bag into the opening of the machine right there and then it does all the work for me. I love it so much because the Fresco V8 eliminates the multiple manual operations necessary with typical vacuum sealing devices. It's got intelligent one-touch vac seal and it offers true convenience, true automation, and true ease of use. As you can see, it's super easy. It has luminous LED rings which help you with your food and how you make it and it gives you a clear sign of vacuum sealing and when it's done and then it also has a removable magnetic drip tray to catch falling crumbs or excess liquid keeps your countertop clean and it's super easy to clean out and then it also has a sous vide cooking assistant which is awesome instead of using a microwave you can boil your vacuum sealed food which is so cool and it's very easy to use so you guys definitely need to check this out. The link is in the description box below. As you can see, it just vacuum seals my chicken right up and then I click seal and this is super quick and easy and it's done. And I throw it back in the freezer and I can use it whenever I need to next. Also, the holiday season is coming up. So this would be a very good gift idea for anyone in your life because I feel like every single person could use one of these. It's so nice and I just love it so much. So make sure you guys check it out. It also just looks very sleek and nice in my kitchen. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and click the link in the description box below to get yours. Okay, so next we're gonna prep our veggies. So I just am peeling my onion here and then I'm gonna cut it up. By the way, you don't have to be a pro at cutting anything. Just try not to cut yourself. That is the goal here. So I got my onion. I think onion is a must in this. Um, if you hate onion, then don't put it, but I think it adds so much flavor. And then I save the other half. I vacuum sealed it and put it back in the fridge, but I have all my onion here and I take my pot put a little bit of olive oil because the first thing that you're gonna do is saute the veggies which I'll show you later but I put a little bit in there then I put all my onion in there just to prep it then I have some chives from my garden that I cut up and then I'm putting these in a separate 
little bowl because I'm gonna add them later in the recipe then I also have some little teeny carrots from my garden as you can see they're very small which I'm cutting up and also adding to the pot to be sauteed with the onion So next we have garlic, which I think I ended up putting like three or four cloves. I feel like everyone likes garlic unless you're a vampire or something like that, but I don't know. I really like garlic. I just do the little press thing so I can get the shell or whatever you want to call off of it. And then I put it in the slap chop because that makes it so much easier than cutting it by hand. And then it's all done and I put that in the pot as well. All right, so my number one cooking or baking tip is to clean as you go so you do not have a huge mess to clean up afterwards um, after you eat, after you did all this cooking, and then you don't want to clean it up afterwards. So do it as you go, and it makes it way easier. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is start up our stove and turn it to medium high so we can kind of saute these veggies, and you're just going to stir them up. So I kind of saute these for about five minutes, I would say, and just stir them. So then all the juices are kind of cooked out almost, and they're all in there. And then I just leave them in there afterwards. But yeah, five minutes if you are a person who likes to set a timer, that type of thing. I always do, and that's what I do. Okay, for this next part, you are gonna need your chives if you cut those up, any type of noodles that you have at your house, and then I use one and a half things of chicken broth, and I'm just showing you a little bit of progress on my veggies. As you can see, they kinda get a little bit darker. All right, so once that five minutes is up, I add all of my chicken broth. Like I said, I use one container, one whole container, and then half of another container. And then you just stir that up and I always add like a little bit of water too, really not a lot, maybe like half a cup or one full cup. I'm just using this bowl and putting it in there and then you're going to want to bring this to a boil. So once your broth is at a boil, you're going to stir it up and then you can finally add your pasta, anything that you have in your house. You might actually have real soup noodles, but I just used like linguine noodles, I think it was, and broke them into thirds, which got pretty messy, but... Yeah, that's what I did because that's what I had in the house. So you're going to want to cook your noodles however long the package says, and then you can add your chives or green onions, anything else that you had that you want to add at this point that you didn't already saute. Then mix that all up, and you just got to wait for your noodles to cook. I think my noodles took like six minutes to cook, so I was just reading on my Kindle while I waited, and Obi also joined me, as you can see here. So as you can see, everything is very hot and steamy, so I ended up turning it down. I don't know if I showed it right now, then I just mix everything up, make sure your noodles are cooked, which you can kind of tell if they're cooked. Obviously, they're not hard anymore. So I did that, turn it down to low heat, and then you can add any seasoning that you want. So I added some garlic salt and then some normal salt. You can season it to taste. Some chicken broths actually have a lot of salt in them already, and you like don't need any more, but yeah, it's like whatever you have. So just season it to however you like it. You could even add some spicy stuff in there, whatever you like. And then you serve it. And if you're like me and you don't have a soup ladle, I literally just stick the whole bowl in there and scoop it up. And I also burnt my finger in this moment, so that was not fun. And then you have your super yummy and easy and cozy soup recipe for all the cold days to come. 